Bentley, a company founded in 1919 in Cricklewood, North London, and purchased by Rolls-Royce in the 30s. A company synonymous with both racing and luxury. Perhaps the best example I know of those two extremes of British engineering. For almost a century, every Bentley was hand-built to exacting standards. So at the beginning of the 21st century, when Bentley revealed their first mass-produced car, there were a great many questions. The car was the Continental GT, an elegant grand tourer that combined a racetrack pedigree with exquisite style and all the power you could need. The move to mass production has done nothing to blunt the Bentley experience. The 2017 Continental Supersport is responsive, fast and beautifully designed. together all-wheel drive, carbon fibre bonnet sides and side skirts to create the most powerful performance-focused car the company has ever built. But never forget, Bentley's pedigree is racing, and the Bentley Continental embraces that. In 2007, a largely standard Continental Speed GT broke Bugatti's record for the flying kilometre on the frozen Baltic Sea. And then in 2011, they broke their own record. 205 miles an hour, both ways, on ice. Even when building these gorgeous Grand Tourers, Bentley is driven to excellence. Today, Bentley means modern, peerless luxury and elegance. But that's far from the full story. A century ago, Bentley meant something else entirely. It meant Le Mans. In 1930, eccentric race team owner Dorothy Paget financed a rather special Bentley at the Le Mans. It was a 4.5 litre supercharged masterpiece driven by Sir Henry Bentley Boy Birkin. It posted the fastest time on the day, but it failed to finish. But what a race it was. Sir Henry's courageous driving forced Rudolf Caracciola's seven-litre Mercedes out of the race at the cost of his own victory. But in doing so, he ensured that the Bentley Sixes would take the victory. he didn't have anything to prove. In 1929, the adventurer Mrs. Mary Victor Bruce had already driven the resolutely modern 4.5-litre Bentley at Montlaï, setting distance, speed and endurance records. The Bentley's performance so annoyed Ettore Bugatti that he called it the world's fastest lorry. When the blower finally went on auction in 2012, it fetched more than enough to get yourself a Veyron and a racing truck. <laughs>